Okay, so we're back. Um, I've taken the steps to go ahead and start with the first step in my process, which is to go ahead and paint the miniature with a base coat of Cantor Blue. Um, after I finished that, I went ahead and touched it back up with, again with Abaddon Black to hit the edges and cleaned up wherever I missed or wherever I may, may have spilled over onto the details. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do the first highlight. Now, the first highlight I'm going to use Mercrag Blue. It's a little bit lighter than Cantor Blue, um, so it should be able to bring out some of the more blue color to it. I, once again, I'm going to take this minute. I'm going to take this paint. I'm going to go ahead and put it on my palette, and then I'm going to go ahead and thin it down with a little bit of Lamian Medium. Okay, so I'm just give the paint a good shake. Nice and shook up. Take some of the paint and put it on the palette. I'm going to go a little bit more this time. As you can see, compared to the other color, it is a significant lighter color. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the Lamian Medium. Dip my brush in there. As you can see, it's a little bit on the bristles. And take it and just work it into the paint here. Once I get a good, nice work in, rinse my brush. And I've been using a zero or a ten slash zero. And for this job, I'm going to use a ten slash zero, but it's going to be a smaller. Uh, tip. Okay, because I want to do a little bit more focusing on highlighting here. So we'll go ahead and start with this and just work it in. As you can see. Now you want to leave a little bit of the darker paint in the recesses. This gives the illusion that there's depth. So that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to go ahead and just paint it on and leave a little bit of the darker paint in the recesses to create that look of depth. But at the same time, provide a highlight on the outside of the miniature like that. I'll just do it with the other shoulder pad as well. Once you get a pretty good idea of what you want to do, everything becomes pretty easy from there. So, once again, just take the paint and draw it towards myself. It's a more natural movement, I think. Getting a little bit more here. I'm just filling where the light hits. What naturally would hit on the miniature. I imagine that there's a light source coming from up top. And that's what I'm taking to paint, and I'm just painting in those areas where I think the light would hit better. The hit the best. Okay. So once I've completed that part, then I know I've started this first layer of highlight. I will use Drakenhof shade, nightshade, to go ahead and tie the colors together and to um, give the model a little bit more depth as well. So. As you can see, 
I don't know, I'm gonna zoom in here. There's a significant change in the coloration and the ways of colors that we have here. So Cantor Blue is a darker color, as you can see in the bottom of the miniature. And then you have McCrag Blue, which you can find painted onto the shoulder pads here. So, as my first video in my series of how to paint miniatures, Space Marines. That's what I'm gonna. That's it. So, the next time we get together, um, and the next time I show a video, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the next level after I've shaded the miniature with the Drakenhof Nightshade, and then we'll go into more detailed highlighting. And once we go ahead and cover the highlighting all the way up to edge highlighting, then we'll cover the details in a later video. Thanks again for watching. Like I said, like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, be easy on me. It's my new video. It's a new video. I've never done this before. Hope you enjoyed it.